Hi. Hi. So please introduce yourself. Uh, we are 806 Technology Limited. What we are doing is we are doing the flexible rechargeable lithium battery. This by is Tesla. the battery. This is actually the battery. So you can see that we can do the bandable. And then even while we um, do some, like operate it. Nice. It lights up. It lights on. And then while it lights on and then we do the bandable curving, it still works. And you can see there is no damage in the battery. And you say textile based, yes. flexible. How does that work, textile based? Actually, what we're doing is that we replace the metal fall in the traditional lithium battery by our conductive textile. These are the conductive textile. So there's like copper here, nickel, nickel. composite. Yeah. Our uh, technology is that we can like deposit different kind of metals into textile to make it conductive, so that the conductive textile can be used to make the lithium battery. And you got the, the price, the best invention in the Geneva Convention yes. of, uh, of inventors. Uh, here in Romania, grand prize. And here, uh, this is also in, uh, where is this? Yeah, you got some prices. So people think that you, you're going to change the world? Um, I would not say people think that we're going to change the world, but then this is an innovative technology that is coming new. And then actually flexible battery is quite new in the market as well. Um, but. In 2023, the Economic Forum, they also rank flexible batteries one of the top 10 emerging technologies. Therefore, uh, we think that there is a huge potential in this market, especially when wearable electronics becoming more and more commonly found in the market. I want this in my t-shirt. You can, so, technically. So, uh, how about recharging? It's actually rechargeable, so... Um, Already now. Yeah, it's actually rechargeable. Yeah. Uh, for our battery, uh, while we do our testing, um, we charge or recharge a thousand cycle, the capacity didn't drop lower than 80%. Really? Yes. So it's the same like the battery in my phone? It's actually the same as the battery, the lithium battery that you're using in the daily devices. In the Tesla, the same? Well, in principle it is. In, in principle. <laughs> how about, in how heavy is this one? You can take a look. You can feel so it. So what is this, like uh, 12 grams? Eight? Uh, we didn't really have a weight on it, but then because inside it's just textile, it's just fabric. Therefore, in general, in the same capacity or in the same um, area, it is lighter than the traditional battery, at least 50%. 50% lighter yes. than the traditional battery, but yes. does that mean 50% less power? It doesn't mean 50% less power. At the same power, it's lighter? Yes. All right. So my next Tesla is going to be half the weight? Well, or you're not going to put it in a Tesla? Currently, we do not have a plan to... It's to, too expensive? Yeah, because one of them is too expensive and then if you do the big battery, like the Tesla one, it's actually losing the flexibility nature that we are really proud of. Therefore, uh, we could definitely target to the wearable electronic market at this moment. Can you take this out to have a better look on the camera, or you want to protect it? Um, uh, vehicle, yeah, we yeah need just be careful, yeah. So it's, how do you, you do the sandwich? Uh, which go where? How does it work in there? It's actually, um, in, in working, as I, this is, uh, you can see that there is the uh, anode layer and then there's, there's a cathode layer. Basically, one cathode layer, and then in between there is a, need to be a separator. This is by non-woven fabric. And then one anode layer. Other than that, there is an encapsulation. Then it will be the simple uh, battery text, uh, the structure. Cool. So, um, so all these textiles in the future will be batteries? All these textiles in the future can be batteries. Can be batteries. Yes. We are actually enabling the, the possibility of Tesla products and then making it also evolving the, the traditional image that people think about Tesla. It actually can be a lot of things. So your whole, your whole shirt and your whole jacket could be battery? It could be conductive. The whole of it? Yeah. Uh, it's not because... Or just one part in the corner? Um, what is the idea? Indeed, if we do battery, uh, other than making the conductive Tesla, we also need an encapsulation because we need an encapsulation to make sure that the... Uh, what is this, aluminum, or what do you use there, encapsulation? Uh, what is around? Currently, we are using the... Aluminum some kind plastic? of plastic? Yeah, some kind of plastic to, kind to, of plastic. to wrap it, yes. Yeah, so you would look like a... Very, it's very fashionable to have this color, so it's fine. I would like to have this T-shirt in this color. <laughs> so, oh, it depends, right? Yeah, it depends, but, yeah. But so you've been working on this for a few years now? Actually, uh, for this technology, uh, the team that uh, we are from, the, the research group that we are from in the Hong Kong Polytechnic University, has been working on this technology since 2009. 
And then we started this idea to, to do the battery uh, after uh, we went to the Geneva Innovation Conference, uh, the, the competition in 2014, 2019. Then we started to com try to commercialize this uh, technology in 2022. Nice. All right. 2022, that's like recently. Yeah, we just actually entered the Hong Kong Science Park in 2022. So uh, this is like a one year mark. <laughs> so what's happened? Like, does that mean enter the market? Something will be available to buy? Uh, currently, it's not available to do the mass production yet. So we are, what we are doing is that we keep on actively having called development product with different kind of um, uh, and, and application manufacturer or brands so that they we also need to educate the general public that there is this kind of technology because actually for the general public what they think about battery is still rigid hard with a case or like the power band that we are using however this is something that new and has potential that can be bring a different in the market i think you should partner with uniqlo or with uh, uh, benetton Nike, or somebody benetton Nike, and, uniqlo. and then they can have air conditioned t-shirts actually and when you sweat too much it will cool you off somehow it's actually a really good idea and this is what one of the application that we hopefully can do in the future because uh, what we need to do is that we also need to increase the energy capacity of the battery because currently what you're seeing is a single layer cell so, so how single, long it will work this one uh it depends on the application for example with this one the capacity is around 80 to 100 mah so if we do some um sensing at, uh, application like putting in sensor or gps it actually can work a lot uh, more than like a whole day or even a week but then if for like cooling application normally what they're using is at least like 1500 or above for the capacity so, so you need 10 of those yeah we 15. need 10 of those or we need to multiply it by developing the tandem cell so basically here is just one layer of cathode one separator and one anode but then if you multiply it then the capacity will be multiplied as well so this is what the next step of what we're developing cool and you combine it with a, let's say I'm coming here on, the, on your back should be a solar panel here also and you should charge it with the Sun it can it can and because then, we are actually an energy storage so uh, with uh, like if we really connect with a solar panel this can be the battery the energy storage of the solar panel and then you can collab with us on nice yeah cool that's awesome okay so uh i've seen some other flexible batteries in the market before i did i'm not in the market but in trade shows mm -hmm. and with the other way that they do nobody else does with textiles so you're the only far, one at least we are confident that in hong kong we are the only one that using tests how to, to do the flexible battery. We cannot guarantee that there is no one in the global. But what do they so. do, the other ones? What we know, for example, Samsung or Panasonic, what they're using, because they also launch, um, like, like you said, uh, exhibit the flexible battery. The prototypes. In, yeah, they prototypes show them. in yeah. different trade shows. Yeah. So what they were doing is that they still use the metal foil to do the cathode and anode layer. Um, but they improve it by some like a different kind of mechanical um, treatment. For example, they will punch holes in the uh, metal foil so that it become bendable, or they pre-bend it so that it is still in that shape with like bendable or curved batteries. Therefore, what we are saying that um, it's not really truly 100% bendable like us. What we are doing is that because we replace it by textile, therefore, what we can be 100% bendable like this the bending radius is less than one millimeters and we it's not breaking it. anything it's not breaking anything and it's feel like a textile of your shirt it's the same kind of a the, flexibility the inside material is actually exactly the same kind for sure because with the encapsulation so the hand feel is a little bit more like limited by the encapsulation yeah. only it's limited by the encapsulation only all right cool all right thanks a lot so Thank looking forward much. to mass production yeah. and uh, next time i come back to hong kong I can go to Uniqlo store, and it will be in a in a cooling jacket and a, an air conditioned uh, uh, everything. Hopefully, hopefully, we'll be launching it very soon. Then you can really buy it in the market.